Hey y'all, what's up? It's Crybaby. We in the building with Fina. And you watching Paparazzi TV. So <laughs> we're gonna get to the thick of it really quickly. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I was talking to you a little bit already off camera. Yes. She's amazing, guys. Like a M A Zing. You hear me? Amazing. <laughs> to tap in with her after this interview, tap in with her for sure. Tap for sure. So before we start this interview, not even an interview, this conversation, Facts. I want you to let them know where can they find you. So you guys can find me on Fina Music. So it's F I N A M U S I Q. And that's on all platforms. So add me. Follow Earth me. Thing. Follow her. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say we were already talking about the English, the Spanish music. So tell me a little bit more about how did you start music? What started you? Did you start off with English music? You know, like, talk to me about that. So, oh, it's kind of tough. I started singing at three years old. Oh. Three or four. I sometimes confuse the, the age, but it's one of those too ages. Too young. Yeah, it was, it was too young. Like, I've been singing since I can talk. And uh, when I first went for the music career, it was definitely in English. Okay. Um, then I took a little break for a couple years, and now I came back, and I'm in the Latin industry. So That's I did a awesome. whole crossover, and here I am, spicy. Was that <laughs> like was that like a whole full on Hannah Montana moment for you, where you're like, okay, I started off, and my identity was English. Now I'm gonna reinvent myself, or how was that for you? Yeah, I think it was definitely a reinvention. Um, in my mind, I I never thought I was gonna come back to do the music industry. She wasn't going to come back. Yeah, I wasn't going to come back. I was in my mind I was done and then oh, one no. day I just woke up and I said I'm going to I'm going to sing in Spanish. And here I am. <laughs> and how how so has it, it been going for you? Um so far so great. I can't complain. Um everyone has been loving all of the songs. So far we've had three releases. Mm -hmm. Um Sola, El Desquite and Bebe Sota. There's a fourth one coming, but I can't, you know, throw the goods out just yet. Can't disclose any um, info. And everyone's just been loving it. Like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with all the love, even in the English industry. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, my song plays even on 105.1. Yeah. That's the thing about music <laughs> right now is that no matter if it's English or Spanish, if your vibes are killing it, like, everyone's yeah. going to be, you know, right there with you. Like, yeah, she's hot. Like, I love <laughs> this, you know. Do you ever think that you will come back to the English side and potentially, like, mix it up a little, surprise your fans? absolutely yep oh that's that, absolutely definitely that's amazing and where do you reside if you don't mind me asking like where are you from new york city Get the bow. queens baby <laughs> okay yes we in here queens in the building in the yes, Bronx, queens baby. in the building okay period <laughs> so how how do you think you being from queens has um impacted your music like would you say your music is a product of your environment would you say I am a Latin American woman and I'm from Queens and this is my dude. Like, this is just who I am. Like, yeah. how would you describe I it? I think this is just who I am. Beautiful. Um, yeah, because like, even though I'm from Queens, I don't identify myself only from Queens. Exactly. You know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of New York. Yeah, break out that box. You know, like, I'm, I'm New York. Um, and then I'm also super Latina too. I love that. So it's like a mix of just really just me. <laughs> Period. Straight, straight Fina. You hear her? You hear her? Straight Fina. So your latest drop was Bebe Sota, right? Yes. Okay, tell us a little bit about Bebe Sota. What's that about? So Bebe Sota is about a really baddie. Like, imagine just baddie. She owns everything she does. She moves like she's just the baddest. Mm, she knows the she's block. the baddest thing. You know what I'm saying? And she's pretty much letting them know, you want the hottest girl out there? It's me. Like, that's pretty much what it is. And then another thing about Bebe Sota, she's talking about all that ass that she got, too. All that ass. Yeah, so, you know, Bebe Sota's not a skinny girl. Bebe Sota is a thick, thick, thick girl. And she okay. has all this ass, and she's okay with it, and she's happy about it. And she's even letting you know, check that butt twerk oh. while you at it. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. So it's a very sexy song. It allows women to just, it's super feminism. Feel it's yourself. super like sexy and outgoing and just like, mer, like be who you want to be. For the ladies. Yeah, it's definitely for all the ladies. So. I love that. I love that. And the video, what was the process of the video for you? How was making that? Like, oh, So that was actually so much fun. Um, you've seen the video, I'm guessing. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you look at the video, it literally just seems like we're just all together having a really good time. Mm -hmm. We really were. Oh, that's um, amazing. It felt literally like a real party like You're capturing like, the moment yeah and, making a video yeah and then the crazy part is that it was a mix of all these different models that came in for the video and it literally felt like i was just 
in my backyard with all my homegirls, just having the best time. We had the the cars, the farms, the Ooh. pool, the floaties. We had the drinks. Feeling like that baby so Yeah, sad, it was like. all female. So it was like all this female empowerment, different countries, different colors. That's you know beautiful. what I'm saying? It was just a vibe. Like it was as much fun as it looks like. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. And as as for the writing process and getting in the studio, um, you were telling me that it's a little bit of a process. How is that normally? Well, first we can start off with Bebe Sota. How was making and building up Bebe Sota? Like, what was that process like? So it's, you know, everybody has a different process. With me, it's kind of simple. It's just either I get a thought, write it down, or just kind of just get it done, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Me and my team, we kind of just work as it comes in. The beat came on. We loved it. We did it. And then actually, a lot of people don't know this. We actually switched the original beat of Bebe Sota too. Oh, okay. So just because we wanted more flavor, we wanted like more, more of that plagero, almost like that back in the day plagero feel. Okay. So, you know, it's just kind of like a very simple process, really. It's just it feeling feeling the beat, feeling the, the music and just kind of being you. And how often would you say is... Like, how often, how consistent would you say is your process? Like, are you constantly writing? Are you getting blocks often? Do you even take your own time away from music just to give yourself that space? Yeah. Like, talk to me. Who's so, Fina? Yeah, so definitely constantly working. We're always constantly working. There's the music industry. In order to be relevant, you have to keep dropping music, yes. dropping music, and just, you know, co just constantly staying creative. I definitely take many little breaks, even if it's just a week where I just kind of disconnect. Right. Um, and it's more for the creative side. Mm -hmm. um, I feel healing. like, yeah, just kind of like healing, take it in, reset, boom, have a different idea. Because if you're constantly boom, 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 you're going to get the same sound over and over. You're going to get the same words over and over. You're going to get the right. same feel. You need so a some, reset. Yeah, sometimes you just kind of have to disconnect. I like traveling a lot too. Um, That's amazing. People mention to me, well, you travel a lot. And I say, well, I travel. Because even when I travel, I get to see different people. I get to be around a different Inspired. culture. And now I get inspiration again. You got to constantly keep yourself fresh. It's like a relationship. Mm -hmm. You got to keep it different. Keep it, you know, rolling. Keep it exciting. And, yeah, exciting. Something see different look, things mm -hmm. in order to create. Right, right, right. Wow, that's beautiful. That's amazing. <laughs> and leading leading into this next question, what makes Fina? Like, what, who or what inspires you? And what inspired you to begin with to even start following this dream of yours? So it's weird. I actually had uh, no one to inspire me to follow the dream. I just, again, since three, four, I just knew this is what I was made to do. Like I woke okay, up and so I beautiful. would sit there with a with a toothbrush, with a remote control, anything I could singing. grab and start singing and, and force my grandma, my mom, anybody that would watch to sing and I would perform and I would mimic at the time Selena. So I do love Selena. She's definitely an inspiration. But to start singing, it just kind of... It was in it was me, in you know, you. it was just like, so that is Fina. When you ask, what is Fina? Fina is music. Fina is happiness. Fina is entertainment energy. in total. Right. You know, energy, vibes, like, that's Fina. And I feel that from her radiating you off know? of her, like, <laughs> right now, sitting next to her. You guys wish you were here, because <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. Like, God bless Aww, it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> literally, bless your journey. I really hope, you know, this goes so far for you amen like, it's already it's already she's already <laughs> on the way guys like by yes. the time you see this she's gonna be like probably on a red carpet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you got this by girl. the time they watch it the i love it they manifestation watch it. that's it that's how you gotta do it and and yeah that's that's really beautiful like wow so m now that you say you know fina is music fina is this like this is that's that's the way to end it right there like yeah. this needs you say more you know what i'm saying but there's a little bit more because now from where you started, what would you feel or what would you want to be next? Like, what would you say is, well, this is where I'm headed. I don't know about y'all, but me, I'll be here. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been pushing, you know, kind of like the record more. I mean, I'm home. I'm New York. Right. So the United States, I want to start moving forward more to Latin America, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of having my presence more felt in Latin America. So okay. that's definitely the next niche that I want to do. Maybe start even traveling out there and, and do some press out there and mm. move around in Latin America and just kind of like, hey, Fina has arrived. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's you know, awesome. So that's, what I, that's where I have this whole thing going next. Okay, okay. Well, that's actually amazing because I relate to that like super, super heavy. I would say like even me as an artist, I think that should be a lot of artists' next steps is to – kind of travel with your music show as many people as you can get yes. those ears get those mm -hmm. collaborations if you can you know that yep. bit those business built like that those build business <laughs> relationship okay. buildings you know what I, <laughs> yeah can't even talk yeah here. no you know sometimes you just get 
tongue twisted. Yeah. You just gotta recollect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so Aquarius energy. <laughs> yeah, it's all the energy. It's coming out all at the same time. Honestly, beautiful again, really it's beautiful here. So for my I guess my last thing to ask you and not even really to ask you, I guess, would just be to hear because right now I can say from everything I've done spoke about, you're very inspiring. You've oh, inspired me you. already. Yes. I'm so happy. Thank you. Think, yeah. That's the goal to inspire. And that's and that's a beautiful thing. So yeah. what would you tell that three, four year old Fina now being where you are? You're exactly where you thought you would be. Period. And there's so much more coming for you. And what would you tell other kids, even even not kids, like even uh, ladies like us, you know, around our age watching you that you have inspired or you're continuing that you're continuing to inspire? You know, what would you tell them? Don't give up. Period. If you need a break, that's fine. But come back and finish what you started. Yes, yes. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Oh, Are you, I'm about to make. I'm about to make myself cry. Stop. <laughs> I'm crying, baby. Okay, that's me. That's me. <laughs> well, this is beautiful. Oh my God, it was such a pleasure. Yes. Thank you so much for having no me crying, on the no show. Crying, yeah, no crying. No crying. I don't really wear many makeup, so there's nothing to drip, but still. Okay, these lashes, they might fall, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, not the one lashes. One more time, one more time. Let them know where they can find you. Hey, so this is your girl, Fina, and you can find me at Fina Music with a Q. So that's F-I-N-A-M-U-S-I-Q on all social network platforms. <laughs> Andas en busca de la más dura de los weekendes La que tiene los poderes La que no cualquiera tiene Soy una besata, papi Con la novia grandota Mira cómo me rebota Dime con cuánto tú te gusta Yo sé que tú te aborrota Soy una besata, papi Con la novia grandota Mira cómo me rebota Dime con cuánto tú te gusta Yo siéndote